What's up, Locker Nuts? Okay, we are going to head over to the unit and do that last little bit of unboxing, mostly look through the records and the trunk. I know I pulled the photo albums out of the trunk, but there's a lot of other stuff in there too, and I gotta take a closer look at those photo albums. So um, there's a few other things too, but those are the two main items that we have yet to go through. And I wanna wrap this one up because I've got some other videos ready to go. Not ready yet, I gotta edit them, but I have some videos filmed of other units that I've bought recently, and I wanna share those stories with you. So um, I'm gonna head over there in just a little bit, but right now I'm at, I'm at the dump. I'm about to dump some stuff we got junk from christmas i got junk from that locker this locker that locker other locker i got tons of stuff that just been like one bag at a time starting to make a pile and now it's time to go so let me dump this and then we'll get to work previously on Locker Nuts. I bought this unit online for just $110. After I showed up to the facility, I was told that it had been broken into previously. Not once, but twice. Lucky for me, it was a terrible thief because he left behind some real treasures. Beatles albums, a cash box, jewelry, Gucci shoes, and an old trunk are among the finds. In the last episode, things got even more exciting when I cracked open that cash box to find gold jewelry and hundreds of of old pennies. Join me as we dig through the last of the items, including that old trunk, and see what other treasures might be waiting for us. All right, Locker Nuts, we're back at the unit, my unit, and let's go through this. We've got this trunk, all right, and it looked pretty good, and then we got a few things here. I think this is empty. I think I emptied that already, but we got that boot box. We got some records, and we've got some photo albums, which we already kind of peeked through a little bit, but we're gonna go through a little bit closer right now because I already went to the dump. I got nothing to do today. I can take my time, and let's have some fun. Let's go. Okay, in case you didn't guess it, we switched to the GoPro. We switched it up. And uh, let's clear this. All right, we got a backpack, nothing special there. It actually looks a little dirty. Yeah, and I did clear this out the other day. Sorry if I didn't catch that on camera. There's nothing good in there. Okay. Photos and a photo album that we're going to get back to the owners. And we do have a bin down here that I already started. A nice box to get the stuff back to them. Okay, so here we got a couple of yearbooks. I do sell these on eBay. At least I've sold a couple of them, okay? And they're not cheap. This is a 1995 right here. So let's see, 95, do, 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 do the math there, 25 years. Probably if I got this and sat on it for another four years, we'll be getting close to the, this person's 30-year uh, reunion. And that's when I think people start buying their yearbooks. Either they can't find them, or they lost them, or they just don't feel like digging them out of store. Just easier to buy one. And they want to go through them and be refreshed on uh, some of the... You know, the names, faces, events, and that sort of thing. So here's a photo album that looking a little bit more like a scrapbook. 1990 on this letter. Because this is what we saw before that was really interesting. But it doesn't appear to be part of the scrapbook. It's placed inside. And I don't know who this lady is, but it's Gian. 1939, okay? I don't know, that's kind of neat. Okay, here's another one. Oh, this is the same lady. Jeanne Gilliford. That appears to be 1926. It might be 1936. Probably the same lady. Yeah, I think that's the same lady. Okay. I'm not sure who this is. But this over here. Bridge. It says, or Bidge. It's another sign piece. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. And then this one, which was, matches what was run in the paper. Okay, maybe that's someone famous. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's see what else we got in this book, though. And I'm hoping we have some other books with some signature pieces like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think they're in some sort of control tower at an airport. It's kind of funny because we're close to the airport here. I haven't heard a plane yet, but I'm sure we will. Hmm, look at this. Airfield, Chico, California. That's not far from here. Chico's about an hour and a half or so. Yeah, this is like falling apart right here. Hmm, neat military magazine. And yeah, what's this? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's cool though. That's neat. That looks like the 50s, maybe early 60s. Maybe a work event or something. Like old school class pictures.
That's neat. All right. How's that? Okay, here's another yearbook. Another yearbook. 1966. San Leandro. A little bit later stuff here. 1973. All right, let's see what's in here. Doesn't look so good already. All right, that's good. I'm gonna get some Ziploc bags. Saves me a few bucks. I always save those. Meat thermometer. Okay. Onita. That's actually kind of nice. Seven inch Santoku knife. All right, that's decent. And we got another one. Bread knife. Eight inch bread knife. Brand new. Onita knives. They look brand new. Scooper. It's a scooper. That's a nice uh, silicon spatula right there. A couple rolling pins. Nothing too amazing in here. And the knives are the best thing, probably. This will all go to the flea market. Okay. Let's go through these albums right here. We did peek a little bit. Okay, but let's go through them like with some thoroughness. Okay, let's just call it that. Andrew Sisters, that's cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Wouldn't mind listening to that. Miles Davis, that'd be really good to listen to. Ooh, that's in beautiful condition. Wow. Alright. Little Deuce Coop. Beach Boys. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night. That's cool. Listen to that too. I wouldn't mind listening to all this stuff, really. This looks like Aerosmith. That's a Jimi Hendrix right there, actually. And then what's this? Wow. These are really chewed up. Yeah, that was Aerosmith there, but these two right here are really, really in poor shape. So I'm going to make a different pile over there. That will not go to our auction. Those are not good enough. The Fabulous Adventure. Oh, Pink Panther theme. That's cool. The Best of Judy Garland. Mm -mm, that's not as good. Ooh, this is good. Look at Kiss Alive. We've had this album a couple times. Yeah, good thing that one looks pretty decent. Tin Machine. This is David Bowie. Grace Jones. <laughs> Hank Williams' Greatest Hits. The OJs. That one's rough. Rough, 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 rough. Oh, there's Porgy and Bess. Gershwin. Ooh, okay, a little jazz. Ray Charles. Nice. Bronski Beat. Beat boy, beat boy. Hit the perfect beat boy. Oh man, that's a bummer. We got the Clash, uh, but no record. Just the just the um, album cover. Dang, that's really too bad. That was probably a good one. Duran Duran. No, no, notorious. Oh boy, look at this. The Beatles. This is the White Album. And what else have we got in here? Yes, we have the paperwork. Because sometimes these are missing. Okay. Oh boy, that album looks spectacular, really. That's a really, really good condition record. Whoa! That plane came over really fast and really low. We got both the records and we got the insert, that's good. Alright, here's Beatles, let it be. Woohoo, that's good. Yes. Oh. Echo and the bunny man, that's cool. Lips like sugar, sugar kisses. And the Spanish, 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 Spanish. I don't know about the Spanish stuff. I know that stuff sells at the flea market. Bummer, we're getting a lot of this kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. We got some Beatles. Rubber Soul. The Carpenters. John Lennon, Yoko Ono, Milk and Honey. Duran Duran. Dang it. Another cover only. Hmm. Union of the Snake. No, this is Duran Duran. Hungry Like a Wolf. Okay, what is this? Okay, yeah, this for this. Needs to go in there. Pat Benatar. Okay, we saw this before. The Cure, Disintegration. Excellent. Excellent. Cat Stevens. Very nice. Nina Hagen Band. This is David Bowie. Nice. David Bowie. Changes. Great album. Another David Bowie. Brian Ferry. Roxy Music. It's cool. All right, here's another Beatles. Beatles for sale. Okay. <laughs> yes. But look at this, it's like the Beatles album, it has a Spanish thing on there. Maybe it was sold in another country or something, I don't know. Donna Summers, some sort of compilation here. Carpenters, Stevie Wonder, and Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, Club Band. Excelente! Alright, let's go through 
We're just going to take a quick peek. See, here's another scrapbook. It looks to be... Oh, wow. Okay. It is a baby book. But you got all these old cards in here. And that, guys, I know these are... I know these are collectible. I know these can be quite valuable. 1949. Man. Yeah, we're going to have to put some of these in our auction, I think. So, because I know these cards sometimes are desirable. All right, guys, a bunch of, I went through a bunch of the photo albums and scrapbooks. Pulled out a little bit of ephemera, but the photos and personal stuff, I'm just going to get back to them. There's two boxes right here. I've got full ready to go. But now we're getting to this trunk. So this is it. I mean, this is the last the last of it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you see that? Just kidding. There's nothing. I mean, nothing that, like, jumped out at me or anything, but... Uh, there is still qu quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh, look at that. Neat old stool, and that does look old. It's Mandy's school stuff and baby pictures. Okay, we'll take a peek in there, but I don't think that's going to interest us. We're only looking for, like, collectible old stuff. There's an old photo. Baby pictures. All right, we'll get those back. Yep, yep, yep. There's some old baby clothes. Oh, I see some coins. I see some... What's this? What's this? Ooh, what is this? Washington Quarters. Ooh. All right. These aren't that old. 1999, 2000, 2001. But you know how much these could be worth, potentially, guys? 25 cents each. <laughs> Sorry, that was a dumb joke. But that's a good find. Anytime we find some coins, it's a good. It's a good. Hmm. Memories. All right, we'll have to see what kind of memories that holds. Just another photo album, get back to the family. Oh, here's another yearbook, we'll sell that. I think this is the lady's um, adopted mother or grandmother. I haven't figured out which. Ooh, look at that. Two year diary from the 1930s. Oh, wow, look at this, you guys. 1934, went to church at usual time, perfect day. Sat outside and read, mom went out at night to audit. Wore my blouse. Everyone was crazy about it. That's really neat. That's a cool diary. Gone with the wind. Huh. That's neat. 25 cents per copy. Someone drew on it with crayon, unfortunately, but I how old this is. Alright, we're finding a lot of more photos and stuff, and all this stuff's gonna go back to the owners. Okay. Oh, okay. That looks interesting. Come on, something better. This is a very special gift that you can never see. The reason it's so special is that it's for you, for me. Whenever you are lonely or even feeling blue, you only have to hold this gift and know I think of you. You can never unwrap it. Please leave this ribbon tied. Just hold the box closed with your heart. It's filled with love inside. <laughs> uh, it's a piece of styrofoam. All right, there's more thought that mattered on that one, I guess. Some photos, jeez. The trunk just had tons of photos. I wish uh, the office wasn't closed too soon, because I would just drive this stuff over there right now and get rid of it. And bring it right back. Reader's Digest in the world. Reader's Digest book, Garfield on the town. That's kind of cool. What's this? Oh my goodness, more hair. This is uh, older hair. I think we'll let that go. We'll just let that go. Don't say anything. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't tell me to donate that. Please. Some panoramic photos of trees and the shore in a plastic chair. Ooh, cash book. Found cash. Found cash in locker. Just kidding. That's kind of neat, though. It's an old cash book. What year is that? 1972. <laughs> I was two years old. Some negatives. We'll return that to the owners. But the cash book, I don't know. Maybe that's a ephemera type. Hey, what's this? Okay. <laughs> Make your own pottery. All right. More cards. And... There's an old postcard. Oh, here's another um, journal, diary. This one's from 1994. I'll put that back to the owner. 
on it. All right, guys, what's this? What is this? I have a feeling it's closed. Mm, maybe not, but this is cool. This is an old, very old Macy's box. See that? I've only found one this old once before. This has got to be from the 70s. It's just neat. Old, old Macy's box. Okay. Birthday cards. Jeez. Who cares? Oh, man, that's what it is. A bunch more stinking birthday cards. The box is neat, though. The box actually might have a wee bit of value. See what we found? Look, guys. The bottom. Uh, unfortunately. So, what do we got? We got this scrapbook, this, and this to go through. Okay? And then that's going to be a wrap. But this is cool. 1946. Oh, this is Grandma's wedding book. Oh, this is kind of neat. Look at all these old cards from the 40s. Wow. Okay, I know there's a collector market for this kind of thing. Even though they're glued in, I know the glue can be undone. All right, let's just say that, undone. Ooh, there's some postcards. Nice. Okay, more. This is kind of neat, guys. This is neat. 1947 now. So they got married right at the end of World War II. It's interesting. All right. My battery ran out on the GoPro, so I don't know how much of this we got. It tends to have a, a, you know, a bad habit of, like, freezing the video towards the end right when it goes dead. It doesn't, like, just go dead. It freezes up the video on me. I usually lose a couple minutes, but here's what we got so far in this memories tin. Some prayer books, some old cards. That's actually pretty cool. That's an old Valentine right there, and that is really a neat... That's a neat card. It's very old. That's neat. Okay, we have some report cards. Ooh, CFCF. I don't know how it was back then, but I'm pretty sure that's not very good. Oh, 1932 and 1933. Old. Here's a little bit of hair. I don't think we're going to keep the hair, okay? Oh, this is autographs. We found these books recently. Oh, wow, look at this. It's got all these little pictures in it. Huh. This, oh, this is neat. All right. Yeah, 1933. Jeez. That's cool. That's that. A few more old pieces. Good little ephemera stuff. <laughs> All right. All right. What is this? Part six in this series. And this is the last box. Now, it kind of sounds good. It's got some... Pro oh. What the heck? It's got a stinking... Nail sticking out right here. Or a pin or something. I totally just stabbed myself. Dang it. It's going to bleed. I could tell. Alright. I'll be more careful. Let's see what we got, guys. You ready? Grand finale. Leading up. Super climatic here. You ready? Okay. Alright. The heck, this actually looks pretty good. I see some pins. I see maybe some jewelry boxes. <laughs> okay, this could be good. Kona, the dog print. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, here's some shells. Ooh, okay. We've got some potential here, folks. We've got some potential. Potential out. And I don't know if you can see, but. It's getting like mighty dark out here. It's definitely at dusk. And I'm losing my light. I might have to bring some of these pieces home. Go look at them closer. Oh, that's a neat piece right there. USN Navy. I'm hoping that these have some gold. Could be, could be. Gold plated probably. I see a little wear on that one right there. I see a little wear. See that? Probably gold plated. Dang it. I'll look at it closer when I get home. Some nice little pins here, though. Okay, there's some neat pins right here. Ladybug, Christmas tree, and some flowers. Some pins. What the heck did I poke myself on, by the way? Where did that go? This. That's a straight pin. Someone put a straight pin. Stupid. Ooh, that's nice. Those are stones. 
That's stones right there. Yeah, what's this? Ooh. What's that? That actually feels kind of decent. Japan. It says Japan. I don't see any markings for 14K or anything. No. It's not gold or anything, but it's still pretty cool. Look at that, guys. That's a big old honking tooth. That could actually be gold, though. That could be a gold filling right there. Could be gold. Look at that closer. There's some more teeth. I guess that's a popular thing to store in your trunk inside of a box. There's pins. We're sewing. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, I'm losing my light quick like. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Calibri. Right? It's a lighter. That is a beautiful lighter, too. And, uh, like, no scratches. It looks like it's brand new. Oh, that's awesome. That's gorgeous right there. Really, really nice. We'll bring that home. That's going in our auction. And this piece... Mm -hmm. right, what do we got here? <laughs> we got some cool stuff here. Oh, don't look. Don't... Oh, guys, look at this. Okay, don't look at the social security card. But look at that. <laughs> That's some cash ola. Rock and roller. Two dollar. Nice. You know I love me money. Okay. A couple of pearls and a couple of gems in there. Let's hope one of those might be a diamond. Huh, some pearls. Okay, I'm gonna do the teeth scratching method. Yeah, that's they're gritty. They are gritty. Okay, what's this? Pocket watch. I think this might be gold filled or something. Isn't that neat? It's got a little pin, a little floor de lis. You pin it on, it's got a little watch. That's pretty cool. Okay. World War II pin. United States of America, 1911 to 1945. Wow, that's cool. I wonder if that's got any value. That's neat. Oh, wow. This is a letter written to the lady's mother in 1997 um, saying that she had decided to take the GED. She doesn't want to finish high school. And knowing it's going to break her mom's heart, apparently. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, guys. A couple more things here. What's this? A little straight pin? Is that gold, though? I gotta take that home. That looks actually really pretty. And this one, too. These could be gold, but more likely they're probably just gold-filled. Interesting pieces. And the last box. Oh, my goodness. This is... Oh, please. Okay, you know what? This is good. This is good. That's... Looks like gold right there. I don't know about that. That's probably gold. This is probably 10k right here. Looks like a class ring. Guys, we're gonna have to go home. I'm losing my light so bad. We got we're gonna have to bring this home. We're gonna have to go through this at home. Stay put, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, guys. If my if my sweatshirt looks familiar and the, the surroundings look familiar, uh, if you saw the video I put out yesterday, <laughs> that's because I just went through the cash box this morning. And now I'm right back at the same table. I'll show you what I'm looking at right here. It looks familiar. I'm back to go through that last box because it was getting dark at the unit. And I got nice lights right here. Look what I'm looking at. Looks familiar? <laughs> I haven't moved a, a single thing. Like everything's here from the previous video. Um, but yeah, let me clear this and then we'll get that box and uh, look through a couple of those items here a little bit closer. One quick mention, the video this morning that I put out this right here, I, I looked at that and I said, ah, oh, there's no uh, there's no mark on that. And then when I was editing, I saw in the video, yeah, there's a mark there. Come on. Well, maybe it looks more like 4K. We're not buying televisions here. This is a uh, gold mark. That is 14K. That little score we found earlier, we can add this to the 14K. But before we get a, before we get into that, let's let's see what we got out of the the new finds. Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, love that. Two bucks. Okay, where was that at? Where was that at? Oh, yeah, that's right here. And right here. And, oh, yeah, that was great. Okay. So, I'll look through that later and see if there's anything 
really spectacular in there. First up, we've got these little pins, and I was hoping these might be like gold filled or something. Got a patent number on it. It says hold on. I do like that. That's a nice little piece. I don't see any patent numbers or gold marks or anything on this one. And looking at it a little bit closer, I don't really know if it's anything precious. Maybe that's a ruby. I don't know. Looks a little pinkish to me, but I really don't know. It's a pretty cool pin. It's obviously old. Those are going into our auctions, okay? Okay, but now this, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, so, hmm, it's got some kind of tape on it. We'll have to get that off. Try to maybe make it fit to where it didn't. Maybe they lost weight, maybe it's the husband's ring. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I got my doubts on that. The underside here where you see a considerable amount of wear, it looks like it's worn through the gold. See that? Did you see that dokla? I don't, know. I don't know what that says. It might be a partial. You see a lot of wear there, but oh, there's like a steel color in there that's not the gold color. And also in the very middle, the very middle of this piece, see that? It's like it's worn off. Worn through. I have a feeling that might be just a gold-plated piece. But I'll do a little bit more research on that, but we're not going to pay too much attention to it right now. All right, now this one is pretty cool, but again, I don't think this is gold. It says Golden Gate International Exposition 1939. Pretty cool. Definitely an older piece. And from that expo that I think the Palace of Fine Arts was built. Palace of Fine Arts is still standing today. One of the... I think one of the beautiful sights to see when you go to San Francisco, but um, yeah, no marks or anything on here to be precious metals. Not really getting a good focus on that, but um, that's not, that's old and interesting, but not precious either. All right, look at this one. It's kind of nice, right? With the little diamond in it. That's got some markings. Can you read that? <laughs> that says B-O-A or B-D-A, 10K. And I think that's either the initials of the maker or of the owner. I read that sometimes they put the owner's initials inside these older rings, and that would make this is probably a vintage piece. And it looks like it's broken. Um, I don't think it's meant to go like that, you know, for making it smaller. I think the piece was actually just broken. That's a 10K piece. It could be fixed, but eh. more than likely that's just a scrap gold piece at this point. All right, what do we got here? Greek letters here. It's a little pin. It says 29. Oh my goodness. 29. Is that when they graduated? Uh, I don't see any markings on here to be precious. It doesn't mean it's not. I just don't see any markings. But how funny is that? 1929. It's not going to be long before these are going to be relevant again for 2029. But that was 1929. Okay, now for these three beauties right here. And these I do have High hopes that this is something precious. There's a little bit of weight here too. All right, I just checked all three of these with the loop and sure enough, all three are marked 14K. I'm not really that surprised. These I, ay, ay, ay. these I had a feeling when I first picked them up. I'm like, these feel nice. That feels like a gold and it's cool. Yeah, nice, 14K, all right. So we do have confirmed 10 and 14K. Well, I mean, it's stamped. I don't know if that's quite confirmed, but we have some gold. So let's see how much more we really got. Okay, first up the 10K, <laughs> 0.7 grams. Oh, 0.8 maybe. Okay, not a big deal. 
We'll add that over here to that other ring because we had that piece that's also 10K. Okay, there's a few more bucks, probably 20 bucks more in scrap gold. And now we got the 14K pieces, these three here. These are really nice with the little diamonds inside. All right. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, 4.8. So what's the 14K is what, $35 a gram? So just in scrap value right here, we've got um, between 150 and 160, I think. 160 bucks in scrap gold right here. But of course, this is not scrap pieces. This is retail. They don't even look scratched up. I don't think they were worn very much. And uh, this, these are sellable retail pieces, so we should get a premium on it. And then, of course, we had this piece, which we didn't count earlier. Ooh, that's nice. 1.6 grams. 1.5 grams. Another 50 bucks in gold. Not bad. Not bad. So what's that bring our total to? I don't really know. I'll show it on the screen because I don't know. Uh, but just scrap value alone, we've got hundreds in gold, several hundred in gold, and uh, that's not including all the other great finds. All right, guys, well, with that, this adventure is a close, right? This adventure is a close. I just want to say thank you so much for going on the adventure with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did. You know, I, I picked this one up for 110 bucks. Again, we found out early on that the unit had gotten broken into twice. My hopes were kind of dashed of finding anything really good, but we did. I mean, we did, right? I mean, I think I'm gonna probably profit, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 12 to $1,500 conservatively. Um, we have some pretty good stuff. I mean, several hundred just in gold, and the Gucci shoes I think are probably worth about 500 bucks. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking neighborhood 500, and we have lots of other stuff that we came across. It's a good, oh, and then the pennies. I don't even know what could be in the pennies. There's, there could be something good in there. Who knows, right? Um, I don't really have the time to go through pennies right now, if you know what I'm saying. I've got three other lockers that I picked up. One little one that you saw in the van, uh, same day that I bought this one. That one cost me 30 bucks. But two others that are huge, 10 by 20s, packed, one I went in with the storage auction pirate. You may have heard me talking about a little bit. Another one that I just picked up last week. And those were expensive and those both look really good. So we'll have those videos coming out very soon. Some of it's filmed, a lot of it isn't. We still have to dig, we still have to go and find out what we got. And that is the fun part. And I want to take you guys with me. That's the reason I film these things. Um, and I'm so happy that you do that, that you come with us and you watch the videos and uh, you get to experience this with us. It is fun, I hope you're enjoying it. Our next adventure starts very, very soon. But until then, good luck to you, God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' It's. And basically, there's not much stuff in here. Let's take a look, all right? Um, yeah, but again, pay 30 bucks. 30 bucks with the 10% fee that we pay to storage treasures. <laughs> $33 invested. That's cheap. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at it.